What's going on guys? G2 here. Welcome back to the channel. And today we've got, and I know I can feel the eyes rolling already, the best gun tools that you can buy at Harbor Freight. Now I know what you're thinking. Harbor Freight isn't known for the best quality tools, but there are a lot of tools there that you can save a ton of money on that work just as good as some of the big box retailers that you can get for a fraction of the price. Plus, they're always running 20% off coupons, 10% off coupons. They have an insider track savings program that you can sign up for. Ways for you to save a ton of money for you to get that starter gunsmithing set. Or maybe you need some extra sets for your range kit, for your car, for your bench, for your second bench, whatever. So here we go. Let's go into my top 10. It's going to be a couple more than 10 because, you know, that's just how we do it. My top 10 gun tools that you can buy at Harbor Freight. Also, make sure that you stay tuned. We have a subscriber giveaway at the end of this video. So don't go anywhere. Enjoy, and I'll see you at the end. So we're going to start with storage. These ammo cans are $13.99. They're their standard 50 cal military style ammo can. They have a seal, they have a gasket, they're watertight, and they do a great job storing ammo, food, and uh, if you just want to use it as a, a range bag, you can do that as well. Next up, we've got a mallet. Now, what makes this mallet special, hammer, whatever you want to call it, is that the ends are changeable. So you have a metal, a rubber, an acrylic, a hard rubber, and it's just great for pounding against your AR, putting in pins. If you don't want to mar the surface, those rubberized surfaces really help protect your gun from any kind of marring or scratching. Now, I know this is a Harbor Freight video and we're going to get away from it for just one second, but Amazon has a great deal here on a roll pin punch set. I suggest you have one of these in your inventory all the time. ARs are notorious for roll pins. Having a roll pin punch set is the only way, the proper way to take out a roll pin. And they also have this uh, mallet as well. Like we just reviewed, it's a great deal at $22.99. Now this is probably my most used tool in my shop, the long drive pin punch set. Nine bucks, you get five pins, they're knurled, they're extremely long, you can use them for slave pins for triggers, for driving out punches, it's great for an AK system as well as an AR system. I always use this. This, every time I'm doing something, it always seems like I am using one of these punches. Moving on, you need a good pin punch set. Now this is just your standard pin, eight pieces, and you will always have a use for this if you're doing AR takedowns. It's just, you just got to have one of these. If you got fat fingers like me, tweezers are necessary. This is a six piece set. It has a variety of tweezers, a variety of tip sizes. It also has one that automatically locks, which is great if you need a third hand, five bucks. And you will use this for cleaning, for assembly, for whatever it is that you're doing in your gunsmithing. Now I've got two pick sets that I'm gonna show here. These are, you're always gonna use these when you're doing cleaning, working around bolts, working around um, breaches, things like that, cleaning carbon, carbon scraping carbon. Uh, these are something you absolutely have to have, whether it's this six, six piece set or the small four piece set. I suggest you pick one or the other. You might as well do both at the price and you will use these for cleaning, for assembly, and it's just good to have in your range bag as well. Moving on to a hex key set. Now this is both SAE and metric. It doesn't have star, but the next set here that we're gonna show you has the star keys as well. This one is great for the bench. This one is great to have in your bag. Uh, these three are extremely portable. You throw them in your range bag and you will have the availability to detach, attach, um, and tighten any kind of hex bolt that you may have on any of your attachments. And no more fumbling around for bits. It's all on one piece. It's extremely convenient. Those of you who watch my channel know that I do AK builds as well as AR builds. And when you're doing an 80% build, you need to be very precise in your measurements and this digital caliper does inside outside plunge measurements it does it in metric and sae uh, as well as fractions you can lock it to a certain depth 
it's just a great precision tool. I know, laugh, precision, Harbor Freight, tool to have when you're doing those builds, just to make sure that you have your measurements and your tolerances correct. If you're like me, you don't have three hands. So you need to have a vise. I like this vise because it's 40 bucks. It's not fairly large. It has a fairly small footprint for your bench. It has an anvil on there that you can use to punch out pins. And it's great to tighten down if you're doing cleaning, if you're doing assemblies. I will suggest that if you do do this, make sure you have some kind of rubberized pad to wrap around your, your um, receiver or your upper just to make sure that you don't mar it because it is metal and it will mar. But if you get those protective pads, this works great now what I like about this tool here this rotary tool it's half the price of a Dremel and it works just as well in my opinion it's variable speed the one thing that it does not do well are the bits are crappy so get yourself some OEM Dremel bits use it with this and you will have a fantastic rotary tool that will last you for years if you're gonna get into 80% building you need to have a drill press whether it's ARs or AKs this is an absolute tool that you need to buy. 70 bucks, just bite the bullet and get one. You will use it so many times, not only for gunsmithing, but for woodworking, for jobs around the house. This is one of those tools that if you don't have, spend the money and get it for sure. You will use it a ton. Continuing with that, the variable speed router. Again, this is variable speed. This is just like my DeWalt. It uses a quarter inch shank, just like my DeWalt. If you're doing 80% builds, this is a great steal at 70 bucks. The DeWalt one will run you about 110 to 120. So save yourself some cash, buy good bits. This piece will work well for you into some cleaning things. I hate getting my hands dirty when I'm doing gun cleaning or gun work. So these nitrile powder gloves, I use these all the time. I also use them when I'm picking up the dog poop. So double duty for that. Also, the microfiber towels are amazing. You can use them. They, they soak up that grease. They get a nice fin uh, finish on your gun when you're wiping it off. You can throw them in the washing machine. Uh, not preferably with your clothes, but you can clean them and reuse them over and over again. This magnetic parts holder is invaluable. When you're doing a disassembly, this holds everything together. Your trigger pins, your springs, it holds them all in one location. They don't go rolling around your bench. They stay there, they stay put. That has a magnet on the bottom, which if you have a metal tabletop, uh, it'll stick to that as well. This thing I've got everywhere. I've got about seven of these on every bench, on every th workplace that I have. I've got one of these to hold my stuff. Finally, a torque wrench. Now I'm going to show you an example of here of why this is important and how you can use it. But at $20, it's a great deal. If you're assembling ARs, specifically uppers, you need this torque wrench. And here's why. So one of the great things about this torque wrench and why you need to have it if you're doing any kind of work on an AR is that it works in combination with your armor's wrench. So whether you have um, one of these style, a Magpul style, uh, this style, it all works the same. They all have this quarter inch adapter right here and that fits perfectly into the uh, torque wrench. So you can torque if you're doing a barrel nut, um, castle nuts, if you're putting them on or taking them off. It gives you that really nice leverage to be able to get that off. And also, when you're assembling your barrel, barrel nut should be torqued to 45 pounds. And this gives you that perfect way to do that. So, like I said, this is a pretty much a go-to tool for me when I'm disassembling or assembling AR uppers. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed that video. It was something quick. I just wanted to put something out there that's useful that Harbor Freight is open during the quarantine. So if you can get out there and get some tools to help you with your setups, with your gunsmithing, help you with some downtime, it's definitely well worth it. Now, in addition to that, I have extras of a lot of these items just because you can never have enough picks or punches or anything like that so in our ammo can right here we have 
four pack of microfiber cloths, three piece hex wrench set. This is great for your bench. This is great for your, uh, your range kit. Just, just to have handy. It's got SAE metric and star. So anything that you've got in terms of attachments on your AR, AK or Glock or whatever, it's going to take care of them. Eight piece pin punch set, stainless steel tweezer set, the hook and pick set, four piece mini pick hook set, four inch magnetic parts holder, our long drive pin punch set. And this is absolutely one of my favorite uh, punch sets to have. And it works great for being a slave pin when you're doing uh, trigger installs or if you're working with AKs, a lot of these fit the dimensions of AKs. Six inch digital caliper, an American flag. So what I'm gonna do for one of you is you're gonna get this care package sent to you, no charge, compliments of me. All you have to do is check out the description Check out the details, and you could get this care package sent directly to you all together. Everything fits in there perfect, and you'll have yourself a nice little starter kit or replacement kit or range kit, whatever you want to use it for. These things are extremely handy. Every time I'm doing work, I'm using them. Check out the description. Make sure you comment, like, and of course, this is only available for subscribers. So if you're not a subscriber, make sure that you subscribe. Otherwise you are ineligible from winning my prizes. And this could be all yours. So until next time, make sure that you're treating every weapon as if it was loaded and practicing safe firearms handling and technique. God bless America, G2 out.